Well, hello, everybody. I wanted to take a moment to um, talk to you a little bit about um, uh, Dr. Gleb Siporsky. Uh, Dr. Gleb and I uh, got to know each other a couple of months ago uh, in the context of an article he was writing uh, for Forbes magazine related to uh, hybrid work and shifts in how uh, people, workplace habits and, and how technology uh, was uh, was one hoped serving uh, better productivity or at least better outcomes for uh, hybrid work environments. Uh, that also led to a video interview. And then later, we invited Dr. Gleb to come to speak at uh, our technology summit, our summit, which really focused this year on adapting for hybrid work environments. Um, and Dr. Dr. Gleb came out to uh, the wine country in Northern California and spent a couple of days with us, met with our attendees, but most importantly, he really opened up our conference with a very compelling uh, keynote speech uh, that which was really anchored with a lot of data. Um, and for the audience that we brought in, much of which, or most of the people, most of the participants were actually uh, those that want to hear what Dr. Gleb has to say, the fact that he brought such detailed information and, and, and grounding data that would help them go back to their management teams and explain why they were making certain decisions and, and have the, back, the backing, the, the data to support what they were choosing to do um, was, was enormously helpful. It was a very small conference. It was very intimate. And so Dr. Gleb also spent a lot of time meeting with the attendees, getting to know them, responding to their questions, uh, and, and so forth. And I think that our experience uh, with him, other than his thought leadership, I, I should actually let me add one more, one more point in. At the very end of our conference, we decided to have a, a, a debate. And the debate uh, was to be mildly provocative. So it was it was uh, Dr. Gleb and his more laissez-faire hybrid view of the world and a more uh, doctrinaire or orthodox view of the work world where people should be back in the office. Um, and in the middle, so we had, we had uh, Dr. Gleb on the one hit side, we had a, a gentleman, an executive from Wipro on the other, and then we had uh, the an investor from a real estate investment firm in the middle. And, and I think that what was interesting is the topic was quite contentious because obviously in one case, the, the man in the middle um, from the real estate investment firm, it's, it's really in his financial interest to make sure that people come back to the office. Otherwise, the asset that he owns is, is of far lower value. Um, Dr. Gleb pre presented his views and the data around the, the reality. I mean, the, we'd already gotten testimony from other speakers during the day about the real utilization of office space, even going back pre-pandemic, five years, 10 years. And that the reality is, is that, that we've always been on a hybrid, or at least for many, many years, we've been in a hybrid environment. And yet we just don't want to acknowledge it. And so the counterpoint from, uh, from the gentleman from Wipro was, well, you know, we really need to bring people in the offices, how they're productive, how they collaborate and so forth and so on. What was what was terrific about that final that closing debate? Um, number one was it it forced a lot of other people, uh, both the parties, to come out and present a well reasoned case. But furthermore, it also drew clear clear lines between the audience. Where, as it turns out, I think most of the audience fell on the side of of. Um, uh, of Dr. Glub's view, which is that we need to be realistic and understand that there will be changes uh, and that those changes are in fact going to impact uh, how people work. So we had a great experience working with Dr. Glub uh, leading up to the conference, um, coming in and speaking at the conference. Uh, we wanted to make sure that he got his wine tasting uh, uh, along with the others on Friday. Um, and he helped really, I think, to uh, enhance the professional environment that we strive to uh, to create for the for the Envision conference. 
uh, from Join Digital. And so thank you very much, Dr. Gleb, for coming and attending. And uh, we hope to have you again, um, perhaps both at the conference and in other venues that we produce.